Well, hello, you beautiful people. I am here with our very own Pastor Bill. And as you can see, I'm here with uh, a Pastor Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard we've gotten a little lax on some things, have we? Well, what we're doing is we're loosening up a little bit of the things we're doing on Sunday morning. So maybe we're ex lax I guess x clax we could all use a little bit of that from time to time, huh? Well, but lately, for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, listen, here, here's what's going on. So, as you know, your safety is our top priority. Yes. And we have thoroughly enjoyed that we have been back together for the past three weeks mm -hmm. now, worshiping together in person. It's been amazing. It's been it? great. It's, all of the services, wonderful. Amen. Just the blessing of seeing your faces makes it all the difference mm. in the world. And I want to just share with you, so I know you're used to a few steps that you have to take before you actually get into worship yes. with us. Everything from calling to RSVP to make sure you got your seat already um, just waiting for waiting you. For you. <laughs> and, you know, once you get to church, you know, you usually see Miss Chris or Miss Tracy checking you off. And we've got our volunteer, our task force, who's providing temperature checks for you. And then once you get into our lobby, our welcome center, somebody's there with hand sanitizer and mask. And then you go into the lobby and we appreciate our task force so much. Amen. They've truly been a godsend and a help. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of ease up a little bit on some of that policy, okay, on some of the protocol there. So you no longer have to call into RSVP with us. Just go ahead and show up to church. Also, uh, we're not going to be providing temperature checks. And there will be um, hand sanitizer stations set up for your convenience. Some of you bring your own. So if you want to use it, it's there for you to, to use. Everybody's been coming in with a mask and we still want everybody yes. to wear a mask. The masks are the most important thing. And we, we realize that for some, it's just just those extra steps are annoying because we've been doing this now for seven or eight months everywhere we go. And I know that you still want a social distance. A lot of you have talked to me. In fact, some of you came the first week and, and even with all the protocol we had, we're, we're still just a little uptight. A lot of you have said to me, we haven't even eaten out in mm -hmm. a restaurant yeah. uh, since this thing started. So we want to keep you safe. We're saying that first of all. Uh, you know, they say that 90% of COVID is uh, spread through the droplets. So we want to keep the distance. And if we have the masks on, that isn't going to happen. So we feel like you're going to be safe. Uh, even with relaxing this. And again, as Pastor Aaron said, that is our number one. I don't want to ever believe that we were the uh, the fault of one of you sure. uh, contacting COVID. Absolutely. And, and if you do get to church, I know we've all probably done this from time to time and think, oh man, I forgot my mask. We definitely will have plenty of masks yep. here on campus to offer you one. And our task force, our ushers at the door will have a supply of masks if you need one. Also, speaking of that, uh, when you exit church, we were using our four side doors as exits. And now what we're going to do is we're also going to go ahead and open back up the lobby for you to exit out of the front of the church as well. So you're actually going to be able to use five different exits Amen. at this time. And that would be handier for you too, because uh, my wife, Jane, working with Hands for Homeless, uh, is going to be outside with her table so you can pick up ingredients and things to help with our homeless sure. ministry because that, that is so important that we continue to help the least of these in, in a time like this. Yeah, uh, the Thanksgiving feed is around the corner too. Wow. So uh, Miss Jane will have a table set out in outside in the front of our church yep. as you exit out of the double doors or even the side doors on your way out to your vehicle you will now see her table out front instead of on the north side so these are just a few things that we're doing to help kind of ease up some of the yeah the the annoyance yeah. of, of, of how things feel but guys we appreciate you and we appreciate that the committee that has worked hard they will be now kind of a hospitality committee we want you to feel Welcome, mm -hmm. missed, loved, yeah. part of our family once again. And, and so we hope that there's a day not too short ahead when we can once again all relax, sing out, not have to wear masks. Absolutely. So keep praying for that. You know, I think it's on the way, uh, but we'll just listen to the science and wait for the time. 
Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys need us for anything, give us a call. We love you. God bless you. And remember, whatever you do, continue to love God and love people. See you soon.